This is to open up the Arlington Housing Authority regular board meeting, Wednesday, January 18, 2022, is 7.01. Um, roll call. Uh, Joanne? Here. Gar? Here. Nick? Here. Nick's here. Uh, Fiorello is unable to attend. And um, Jack, is are you recording this? Yes. Is Sandy on? And Sandy's on the call. Okay, great. Uh, mm -hmm. So executive director's report, go ahead, Jack. So some, um, some project updates um, at Drake Village, the creative placemaking project is currently out to bid. Uh, the fire alarm system upgrade is underway. A meeting was held with residents um, this past month uh, with the AHA, the contractor and designer present. It was, um, it was, it was a success. It was it that we were able to ensure residents had the chance to raise questions, concerns, and learn about the project. Um, we've heard positive feedback thus far from residents, including the uh, president of the Drake Village Tents Association. So um, we've been pretty happy with the contractor so far, and we're going to continue to, um, to communicate and, and address anything if, if it comes up. Uh, the Hauser Roof Replacement Project, Cottage Door Replacement Project, Hauser Electrical Panel Upgrade Project, and Cottage Fire Alarm slash Electrical Panel Upgrade Projects are still in the design phase at, at Drake Village. At Chestnut Manor, the window replacement and air source heat pump projects will be starting in the next month. Okay. An informational session will be held with residents once we confirm the start date. The electrical panel upgrade project is, uh, is in the design phase at Chestnut Manor. Uh, staff are also working hard to fill the final five units from the Chestnut Manor fire. Uh, they also continue to fill other vacancies as they become available. Uh, at CUSAC Terrace, maintenance work hard improving the heating system at CUSAC Terrace this past month. This work and analysis, as well as the new windows, will, uh, will create a more efficient system as we move forward. At Winslow Towers, the air source heat pump project at Winslow, at Winslow Towers is in progress. Residents have already had the units installed, have indicated that they are pleased with these units. Uh, Chris and the maintenance department have done a great job communicating with residents throughout this project. At Minotomy Manor, the weatherization project is, uh, is underway. Uh, we received an update from the contractor and um, in Action Inc. through National Grid um, that the project will not be completed until September 2023. Uh, this is due to the large amount of work they are doing, adding insulation, filling holes, gaps around windows, doors, and, and more. Um, we have sent a message to residents with an update on the timeline, and we'll be able to provide a clearer timeline and instructions to residents before work begins in their unit. Um, we plan additionally, uh, we plan to set a meeting. Um, with the Minotomy Manor Tents Association and the, and the designer for the Minotomy Manor Window Project slash Deep Energy Retrofit Project in the next couple of months. It's just uh, dependent upon when we finalize some of the paperwork with the state. Um, an update on the on the affordable housing unit we were, we we're hoping to uh, purchase at some point in the future. Um, again, we did not receive any proposals for the request for proposal advertisement, and um, you know we're just going to be looking at additional steps and what other um, options we have. In regards to pest management, uh, the AHA's contract with Terminex ended last month. Uh, we are currently in the process of seeking out a new pest management company and hope to have some new information about that um, at next meet, at next board's meeting at the next board meeting. Um, in regards to the Chapter Six Eight Nine development, we're working to to create. Uh, we we have requested a project number uh, through D DHCD. Uh, once received, we'll be able to move forward with the design and selection process for that. Um, additionally, the biennial rent determination process has started for senior public housing. Uh, the packets have gone out to residents and the new rents will be effective May 1st, 2023, once processed. Uh, an update for the FSS program. Our FSS coordinator, Sarah Paleo, is doing a great job expanding the FSS program. Uh, she added seven new participants to the program over the, the past two months, which is more uh, than we did in the past year. Um, and, and just for context, she just started um, back the end of October, or early November, I believe. So she's, uh, she's off to a great start. Um, in regards to the resident services coordinator, um, an update for them. Our resident services coordinator, resident service coordinators continue to build relationships with, relationships with local agencies and stakeholders. Uh, they've also been working hard to help residents apply for fuel assistance, rental assistance, and other programs and benefits that you know benefit them on a on a daily basis. And additionally, um, lastly, we have our 
presentations to the Community Preservation Act next week uh, for, our, for the application we submitted for the House Building Roof Project and for the uh, Monotomy Manor Window Project. Great. Great. Any questions for Jack? Joanne? Yeah, I just wanted to check in with him. Um, you're in the process of changing um, a contract for exterminators. Is that right? That's correct. And it will still um, follow the integrated pest management sure. integrated pest management procedure, but we are in that process right now. Chris has um, already um, gotten started on that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Great. Okay, no other questions. Moving on. Uh, number four, Monotony Manor Tenant Association Memorandum of Understanding. Jack had sent that out to everybody uh, in addition with a copy of the regulations. Um, and then there's a, I got another email, I'm not sure. Jack, if it was you or, or Lisa or Jen, about um, some other aspect of this. So, uh, you know, having reviewed everything, I, I, what I want to do is appoint a subcommittee uh, to deal with this um, subcommittee. But I think the subcommittee would meet with, instead of just monotony, I think we will meet with all the tenant presidents and we'll work on one document, um, which really would mirror the regulations. Uh, and then we can add things in there in terms of uh, meetings or budgetary stuff, uh, for instance, when we provide funding and so forth. So I'd like to do that. Uh, I'm going to ask a grandfather on the board, Nick, uh, to join myself and Jack. Um, and Trish, I think would be appropriate for this, Jack, um, um, to serve on this subcommittee and we'll meet with the tent, we'll set a date and time, let's meet with the tenant presidents uh, when they can all meet um, and and um, and we'll hash out some of this. We'll come up with a couple drafts and so forth. So um, that's what I'd like to do on that one. Uh, anybody have any questions on that? No, I'll be happy to, I'll be happy to join them. Great. Great. And uh, so I'll come up with a draft and uh, we'll circulate it and then um, we can review it with everybody and go from there. So I, I think, you know, I think the most important thing, uh, as I read through this Monotony Manor one, uh, which, as I said before, uh, I mean, the, the fact is in there, it just uh, um, there's no way we would agree to any of that stuff. But but I think I think there can be some type of agreement that protects um, not necessarily the, the rights but the participation of the tenants in the process. I think, you know, I think these associations, uh, LTOs need to understand that every tenant needs to have a voice in this. Uh, and it needs to be usually important that notifications are done properly so that every single person in these buildings knows there's an association and here's the meetings and things like that. So I think, you know, whatever, this final agreement will outline a lot of those things uh, that will put a lot more responsibility on them to make sure that that all the tenants uh, are able to participate and so forth. So, so we'll we'll do that as soon as we can. Uh, Jack, I'll, we can talk tomorrow and figure out dates and times. Okay. Um, we'll go from there. So number five, um, you want to mention this, Jack? Yes. So this is um this is a, this is a change order request for the house building uh, fire alarm system upgrade project. And this is the upgrade that we're, this is the change order that we're able to consider because of that additional funding we received um, from the state through that earmark, uh, earmark that uh, Senator Friedman lobby was able to advocate uh, on our behalf for. Um, so again, you know, thank you to, to Senator Friedman as well as um, Representative Garbley and Representative Rogers for all the work they do for us. Um, this is a great example of, of you know, their advocates, advocacy in a, in, a, in a way in which we're gonna be able to um, add another extremely important part to this project where otherwise we wouldn't be able to. So, and just for clar clarification, this will allow us to upgrade the, sp the sprinkler heads, which otherwise would be expiring in the next uh, few years and require a separate project, which would cost additional, uh, much more money than it will cost in this, in this way. Excellent, <clears throat> excellent. So we need a motion for this? Yes. Uh, I, I move to approve the change order 001 uh, for in the amount of 123,277.63 for the Hauser fire sprinkler system, fire and sprinkler system. Do we have a I second? second. <laughs> so we have a motion by Gar, second by Joanne. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Nick? Yes. Brian's a yes. Uh, that, that passes. We move now to number six. Uh, approval of the notice to proceed for action, Inc., to replace windows at Drake Village Cottages. Jack. 
So we're, we're really excited about this item and the next item. Um, we were able to advocate uh, to Action Inc., which is um, it's a an, it's a it's an organization that works on behalf of National Grid in regards to some of the energy efficiency uh, programs that they handle um, through lean app applications, etc. So we we advocated to them that they should consider uh, replacing windows at some of our developments that are um, gas heated um, because of the the obvious benefits that would come from a um, from an updated window in, in, in regards to energy efficiency and, and, and heat. Um, so, so they they have been able to move forward with this. Um, it could, you know, the benefit of these types of projects is that they can start um, as soon as possible. Um, so this, these projects could be begin in sometime in the next few months, which would be uh, really be a great benefit to the residents. In regards to this first item for the Drake Village Cottages, um, in, in, the, in the packet, you would have seen that um, the cost or the anticipated cost by by Action Inc was two hundred thirty one thousand dollars for the cottages, but I just want to clarify that that's just for materials. Uh, that doesn't include the labor and some of the other costs that are going to be incurred as a re result of this, and the savings that the housing authority is going to have as a result of you know procurement and prevailing wage and some of the other items that would drive the cost of these projects up. So we're uh, in in reality these um, these two projects are going to save. Um, the Arlington Housing Authority potentially billions of dollars, um, which we're we're very um, very happy about. And um, you want to dovetail into the CUSAC as well? Yeah, sorry. And and um, you know the same same spiel for for the CUSAC terrace windows. Um, the only change being that the materials are going to cost one hundred six thousand four hundred dollars, and um, we're also very excited about that and and the um, the the improvements that we'll be able to make immediately because obviously these. Uh, these projects wouldn't be able to happen um, in, in the next year or the year after that, potentially because of our funding restrictions. So to be able to, to address these immediately is, is going to be a real benefit to our residents. So uh, do we need a motion for each one? Yes. Okay. So do we have a, um, before we do that, I just want to commend Jack uh, on C procuring this stuff. I mean, um, the, I think he's got the luck like, like of the Irish because every time he calls me, he's found another grant or another source of funding to fix something. And, uh, you know, these things are things that we wouldn't normally do. So this is uh, fantastic and, and great kudos to you, Jack. And, and, uh, a motion for number six? Uh, I'll move. I'm, yeah. oh, go ahead, Guy, Guy whatever you want. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I move to approve the, uh, the uh, notice to proceed window replacement for Drake Villages with Action Inc. And Nick, you second that? Second, second, yeah. We have a motion moved by Gar, second by Nick. Uh, all in favor for number six, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Nick? Yes. Brian's yes. Uh, that moves to number seven. Do we have a motion to approve number seven? Want me to do that one? I'll do that one too. Notice to proceed with the window replacement, Cusack Terrace with Action, Action Inc. Great. Mm. Joanne, did you say? Oh, oh Next. Yes. okay. So we have a we have number seven moved by Gar, second by Joanne. Uh, all in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Nick? Yes. Brian's yes. That moves to number eight. Um, Jack, the LISC grant. So um, so I've had some, you know, some conversations with uh with our attorney John Greco and, and done some review of this document. Um, at, at this time, we've come to the conclusion that you know we would not recommend the board to approve uh, this this uh, grant agreement in its current form. Uh, you know, I will you know touch base again with list to see if there is any um, other avenues. But you know, in, in its current form, I would not recommend its approval. Yeah, I'll just expand on that. Uh, Jack and I have had many conversations on it. The reason behind this is the the verbiage in in the contract uh, is just. Uh, overbearing and, and um, certainly not commensurate to the level of money that they're providing. So um, so I, I don't think we need to vote on this because we're not approving it. Um, so, I just wanted to say- Go I, ahead, Joanne. I just thought it was inappropriate. I work with a lot of grants. I've never seen any contract like this, uh, especially for that small amount of money. And I just think it, it asks that all of our records be open, that they have on-site visits at any time they wish. And if they found anything they thought was wrong, then they would demand all the money back. It, it just is totally yeah. inappropriate. Yep. And yep. we'd have to do it for everybody. Right, yeah, exactly. So um, John Greco, do we need 
any board action on this since we're not endorsing it? Are you on mute, John? He is. He's on mute. I'm yeah. sorry, I, on, I unmuted. Uh, no, That's right. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't. I think what's going to happen is uh, we don't have to take an action on it, but I think they'll be calling Jack and ask him what the board's, uh, you know, uh, attitude is in this and what their uh, demeanor is in this. So if we wanted, we could either table it. But I, to tell you the truth, I th kind of agree with what Joanne has said uh, and what you have said pr prior to that, pr Brian. Um, and that, uh, in fairness to them, Jack ought to tell them the board at this time is not favorable to the uh, to this, uh, given a number of circumstances or conditions in it. And uh, if later on we decide to relook at it, we we could. But at this point, the board is not going to vote favorably on it. Is that fair to everybody? Yes. So why don't we do this? Then why don't we to help Jack and his um, explaining to them? Why don't we vote it down? Uh, assuming you're all going to vote down, um, and then that does give Jack the option of just leading by telling them that the board voted not to approve this. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So do we have a motion for that? So no moved. I... Do we have a second? Second it. So we have the motion by Nick, second by Joanne. All in favor to turn down number eight. Uh, Joanne? Yes. Dar? Yes. Nick? Yes. And Brian is a, is a yes as well. Uh, move to number nine, uh, approval of regular minute meetings for December 21st, 2022. Everybody have a chance to look at them? If then we have a motion. Yeah, they look okay to me. I would move to yep. approve the December 21 minutes. Then second. Nick. Okay, so second. move by Gar, second by Nick. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Nick? Yes. And Brian's a yes. Uh, public participation, LTOs. Um, see, Jack, help me out here. I don't see Mike from Cusack or Fred from Drake. No. Uh, Winslow, Cusack. Um, yep. Um, Doreen currently's on for Winslow. I'm going to put her on now. Where's that? Oh, Doreen. Okay, yep. Doreen, go ahead. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Um, we didn't do much this month because of a lot of illnesses in the building. So I decided to stay apart from everyone for their best for their own health. But um, in the future, we're looking at some uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken night, pizza night, potluck dinner night, and an ice cream Sunday party. And we're going to continue with our game nights. Nice. And that's where we stand about right now. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Doreen, for all your hard work. The great building. Thank you. Any questions for Doreen? Oh, by, just great. And I don't see Chestnut. Do you see Chestnut, Jack? I don't. Okay. Uh, do you see Jen? Yes. Let me just find her. Jen from Anatomy. Uh, thank you, Brian. Um, so we don't have anything to report as far as events right now. And I appreciate your willingness to negotiate an agreement with the LTOs. Um, however, Monotomy Manor is pretty different from the other four buildings, and um, so we can, you know, discuss this later, but the, um, the regulation states that uh, the LAJ and each LTO shall negotiate an agreement, so, yeah. um, and I think Monotomy, like I said, is quite different than the elderly buildings, so I think that that would be um, difficult to have one for all five. Well, but I think we can do that. It's we'll something we can discuss. As far right. as you know, if you're willing to to come up with an agreement, right? How about for activities? Did you have any board nope. meetings, membership meetings, anything? Yeah, we had a yeah. Well, that's yeah. We had a um, we had a meeting with the residents this past uh, last week. So we'll have something probably maybe for Valentine's Day or Easter, and then uh, we'll report on that next month. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, thank you. Um, Jack, do we have any um, general requests? No, none, none, no, none that requested to be um, on the agenda. All right. Uh, do we have uh, a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Uh, second. So we'll Gar move. seconds. Moved by Nick, second by Gar. All in favor, Joanne? Yes. Gar? Yes. Nick? Yes. And Brian's a yes. And John Greco, good to see uh, you back in action. 
Thank you. Yeah, good to see, good to good to see you, John. Yeah. Way to go, John. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right, folks. Thank you, and um, we'll see you next month. Have a great night. Have a great month. See you guys. Bye-bye.